Hello YouTube, this is Chesko from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be talking about the Canny Edge detector and uh, one of the workhorses of uh, detecting applications. And uh, I, this is right out of the OpenCV documentation. Uh, it goes a little bit into the theory. It has some tutorials on it. And basically what it does is it filters out the noise through a Gaussian filter and a 5x5 five five in this example. Um, it does convolution and if you remember just just so you remember convolution is we talked about it in, in tutorial f uh, 5 I think or tutorial 6 it's just applying linear algebra you know, one box at a time as the box shifts to the right you can see uh, th this is the kernel, the mask, it's a 3 by 3 so that 1 9 is 1 divided by 9 boxes so it's 1 9 right and uh, it, this, I found this animation it does a very good job of explaining where the numbers are coming from um, as you can see here this number starts let's say right here is a 10 times 1 10 times 1 11 times 1 11 times 1 10 times 1 10 times 1 and so on and they do it for each row and after they compute all those values you get a 90 1 ninth of 90 equals 10 that's where that number comes from and then they do it for the second the it shifts as you can see the the, the box sh shifted to to the right and then they do it for the other numbers. They do the same uh, the same computation again, and same thing. One ninth of the resulting value is a 3.7. They round it up, and it becomes a four. They do it here again. Same thing again. They compute all the values. Uh, zero times one, zero times one, zero times one, zero times one, and they do it for each row and then they add all of those they get a 6 1 ninth of 6 is 0 0.6667 they round that up it becomes 1 and that's how they produce the the new image and it talks uh, I'm going to include this in the description of the video um, so you can take a look at it it's, it's very nice I also found a, a nice uh, animation here out of the University of Washington they have a great computer vision program and uh, just so you can see the difference of, with different sigmas and different uh, different uh, uh, arguments what what a big argument and what a low argument the difference and how it does to the edges okay so I just wanted to show you I'm gonna start with a with a higher um, a higher argument range so I'm gonna go from 0.6 to 0.9 and with a sigma of 1 and let's process it and see what it does as you can see it, you miss a lot there's very little noise but there are the edges uh, have decreased uh, a lot so let's say now let's apply it with a sigma of 2 and let's process still you're still not getting the edges you're getting uh, uh, you know you're missing very much you can barely see the flags you cannot see any of that but now let's do same sigma let's leave it at same sigma but let's uh, lower the the argument range so let's do it to 0.2 and let's do this one to 0.6 or 0.5 let's do 0.6 and 0.2 to and as you can see a lot better a lot more edges a lot more going on and just by by increasing uh, lowering the argument range and if we go back to the original to where we started with a sigma of 1 and same arguments as you can see a lot more defined you can see the flags you can see all of this sh shaded area right here you can see it a lot better okay 
Um, that's the canny edge detector. Uh, I but uh, let's see the the code that we have here. And uh, this is a, a piece of code that I wrote. I, I I'm going to uh, show you here in Python in OpenCV. So, um, what is the name? Uh, I'm using a, a combination of not only computer vision but the SciPy. Uh, you can download if you don't have it. The uh, SciKids it's a very nice package out of the the Python. That's the good thing about Python. You can incorporate some of the of the other packages and libraries that are out there. But if you wanted to to do it the way I did it, you don't have to. Uh, but if you wanted to do it the way I have it here, you would have to maybe, if you don't have it, uh, download it, the SciKids package. You might have SciPy because in the installation of OpenCV, I show you how to download NumPy and, and Matplotlib and, and PyPlot and all that and SciPy. But you might not have uh, this package here. So if you want it, you don't have to, but if you do want it, you go to this... Um, to this, uh, I'm going to also include it in the description of the video, and you can uh, download it here. Just go into download uh, here. Where is it? Here. You have to download it first, the stable version, and then you use pip install in the package where you download it. It's very easy. It takes five minutes. Um, but um, they, it's a very nice website. It's a very nice uh, image processing in Python. But I'm in in the code. I'm in incorp where is it? I'm incorporating it. A combination of the two. A little bit of computer vision and also some of the good stuff that Python has to offer. So just so you see the stuff that we have available. But all I'm doing, I'm reading in the photo. Um, what else? I'm, I'm applying the Gaussian filter like I show you. I'm doing two of them, different sigmas like I show you in the animation, a sigma of one and a sigma of three. I'm plotting it. You know, uh, you could go to that website. This is right out of Matplotlib. Uh, the, and you know, it's a very nice package. Uh, you know, you can create. I, I'm. I'm taking the axis off because I don't want the axis on the on the image. That's all I'm doing. I'm showing the plot, and I'm also doing the same operations, but but with OpenCV, so you can see uh, same thing basically. I'm reading it, but uh, here I'm as you can see I'm I'm doing the computer vision two canny edge detector function here with different uh, arguments lower argument and a higher argument okay and then plotting same same thing like I did out in the top part okay so let's run it uh, before I run it I'll show you the original uh, picture here so you know what it looks like uh, what is it called lady JPEG, and this is what it is. It's the one that I we did from the last tutorial, but uh, I want you to to take a look at it uh, before I run it. And now let's run it. This is the, so you can see. This is the the original, the the top uh, part of the code. I'm applying noise to the original image color where is it which one is it it's this one is it? no it's not that one it's this one I'm applying color uh, oops sorry I'm applying color to um, to the original image here and uh, this is with Sigma 1 as you can see it does. Uh, it gets a lot of the edges. It gets uh, a, a a lot. It's, it's, it's defined. Well, let me make it bigger so you can see better. You can see a lot better. 
you know there's a lot of edges there's a um, much higher uh, number but in uh, segment 3 as you can see it loses some of it you know you can it's, it's close but it's, it's, it's different and now let's do it with uh, now let's do it with this one this is computer vision CV2 original image but in gray um, it's this image but it's now in gray okay and let's minimize it but as you can see with the lower arguments uh, the minimum lower minimum value as you can see more uh, edges more noise you can see the her dress right here the the corners here you can see that you can see them uh, but uh, here you cannot see them at all a lot less uh, noise a lot a lot less edges as you can see on the bridge here and uh, the building here a lot of it is, is, is much, 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 uh, it has decreased a lot, just like the animation that I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. And like, uh, like I said, in this, uh, you can, you can um, change the, oops, you can change here the, the different values here, and especially here you can go to a higher number here or, or lower or however you want it if you want to play around with it um, you can change it and you can also change here uh, the noise the amount of noise uh, this is what the, it does the noise this it creates the noise on the on the original image and the first first pictures that I show you and uh, and that's what it does. In Sigma, you can adjust it right here. You can go to Sigma 1, Sigma 2, uh, and, and so on. But you can, I'll include this uh, with, uh, with the tutorial and the description of the video. And uh, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. And like always, if you like the tutorial, click the like box and in subscribe. And like always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.